I just walked out through the exit. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna Kim K cry so ugly right now. <sighs> It is currently 6.22. Our reservation for Cinderella's Castle is at 7. So right now we're just kind of chilling on Main Street, trying to figure out what to do. Honestly, I'm kind of nervous just because it is Cinderella's Castle. I don't know, but I'm super excited. My heart is beating. Hello. I think it's really pretty. It's more like Renaissance. I don't know. Like seeing the outside of the castle, I expected like a little more fancy, fancy. I don't know. More Cinderella, definitely. I love how they call me princess. Oh yeah, the guy called her <laughs> called us princess. Definitely love the vibe. Very much. Very very serious. Okay. I don't know how to feel about this. Looks good. Looks good. Yep. Amazing.
in the park after hours since we just got out of our reservation from I'm Cinderella's royal table. Wouldn't it be badass to like have a big game of paintball here? Oh like my 500 God. people. <laughs> Who's thinking Bro. about that right now? Bro. This is so beautiful. There are... What? Tell me. Now that we are about to leave the park, almost gonna exit, um, oh, I'm getting emotional because we don't know when we're gonna see Disneyland again or any Disney for that matter. So it's just really sad, I'm so sad. But this is really like the best trip ever. And this last reservation, when we tell you guys what we thought about it and our thoughts and everything, like, oh my God. It was amazing. This whole trip was amazing. Just give a shout out to Mark and Nixa because they did join us. Um, I don't know, we just, I feel like we couldn't have done it without them either. They were a part of making this happen. So, love you guys. I'm gonna cry, I'm sorry. We are huge Disney lovers, so just being able to be here means a lot. Like, you guys don't even know. The closing of Disneyland really hurt our hearts. And this kind of just brought a little piece of it back. So as I'm getting emotional, I'm sorry. Um, and if you guys are Disney lovers too, like, I feel like you would completely understand. But I'm just so sad that it's going to be over now. I hope we can step foot in Disneyland soon with obviously the right precautions the right safeties when the time comes this is not the end of the vlog um but it is a goodbye to disney world well i don't want to say goodbye but more like a see you soon Can I thank you? <laughs> Just walked out through the exit. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna Kim K cry so ugly right now. <sighs> Alright, we're in the parking lot now. <sighs> we are still not okay. But how do you feel? I feel depressed. <laughs> I've been wanting to come here since I was five. Oh, that's just so true. And now that we're leaving, it's just, I just want to stay here. I want to buy another ticket for tomorrow so it doesn't have to end. <laughs> that's how much I don't want to leave. Like, everything was great. Even though some parts I didn't like, <laughs> just Fair. being here was like, wow. Five-year-old me, his dream is finished. We definitely plan on visiting all the parks that we can. Our goal one day is to travel to every Disney park that there is and get to visit them all get to see them all so Disneyland is down Disney World done. oh I don't even want to say it's officially done and now we have four more to go Mark keeps asking us if we're okay because he sees that I'm like I'm always on the bus like literally tearing up we're not okay we're not okay. We and I was like, you need to yeah. stop asking me if I'm okay because I'm gonna start crying all over again. If you guys have ever seen the Imagineering story, there is a part in the in an episode where they talk about where Japan had a tsunami and their Disney had to close. And until later that everything was okay, gladly um, their Disney was not destroyed. A lot of people were hurting and when they were finally able to get back into the park, they show so many people crying, how emotional they were. Um, and I was just saying like, Disney is just like that piece to them. To, to a lot of people that might think like, okay, like they're so weird, like why are they crying? <laughs> or why do they feel so sad? But Disney is just such a big part of us now 
being away from it hurts um i don't know like what other way to put it <laughs> this almost felt like that obviously we're going through a pandemic and because of it we're not able to visit disneyland um maybe someday in different terms but disney is like our home i would say so yeah. disney's where all your problems go away yeah <laughs> if you want to put it that way yeah um you're in disneyland and disney world wherever you are and you just feel like you're somewhere else and nothing else exists but the happiness and joy that you feel while you're on property or land that's it that's it And as always, waiting for Nixa this morning. No, I'm already ready. She's ready, bro. Like, mm. That's what she's going in. You gonna do your hair? No. no what? what? Brushed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Damn, I look like a baddie with these sunglasses. <laughs> Anyways. Um, today we are at the outlet because we're gonna um, check out what they have at the Disney Character Warehouse. Hopefully they have some good deals. We'll see. And we are eating Starbucks breakfast. Or as Nixa likes to call it, Starbies. We'll go ahead and show you guys what we find inside and if we actually get anything or find anything good. I am hoping to get a phone case because mine needs Jesus. And maybe some pins, mugs. I don't know. We'll see what we find. Okay, so we're here at the outlet and they have these ears which I saw everyone at the park have but they don't sell these at the park anymore. Um, and the price was, I don't see the price right now but I'm pretty sure it was like 7 bucks or less. They have so much stuff, fanny packs and everything. I don't think you have enough in that basket. No, not at all. <laughs> <Me either>. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Next, a look. The phone case. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a phone case. <laughs> Oh. All right, we just walked out of the store. This is my little bag, and this is everything that Juan bought. Literally, look how big his receipt is. Crazy. Good morning, everyone. We're going to Disney Springs today to get the WandaVision cake. We have not seen a new episode yet, so I did. seeing the cake. <laughs> Are you serious? You watched it without us? I woke up at 8 in the morning while you were sleeping. Oh, on. why would you what do you that? Know? We were you supposed to watch six. it all together. I very quiet. Nobody would hear. Oh my god. I feel betrayed. Hey. It's okay, guys. Hey, it's okay. Just get up. So. It's 10.04 in the morning. I told everyone we were going to walk out at 10. And of course, we were waiting for I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it because y'all already know what I'm going to say. I'm ready. Anyways, we've been sitting here ready. But yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go. Ahead and leave, and we'll see you guys at Disney Springs. All right, so we're in line now. It doesn't look too bad. Just looks super long because we're spaced out like that. But are you excited? One division. I'm excited. I still can't believe he watched the episode without us. Oh um, yeah. Do you know why I watched it before we came here? 
because it's gonna give us a spoiler. Exactly. Yeah, so they put a picture on it and it's gonna give us a spoiler. Um, but I don't care because I really want the cake. I do. First of all, because it's cool. Second of all, because for the gram, it is Friday, it is the newest release and the last one because today is the last episode of WandaVision. So, best for last. I'm excited. I, at first, I know the cake was like red velvet, but I think they changed it to chocolate. But I'm okay with either or. I personally wanted red velvet, but we'll see what it is today. And the line is moving. It's 10.48 and they already started letting people go in. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. You guys here for the cheesecake? The Wanda Fishing Cake. Sure you don't want the cheesecake? Uh, <laughs> she might. I don't like cheesecake. I love cheesecake. We're, 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 world, we're world famous for our cheesecake. <laughs> Last spot. Thing there. Thank you. We also have a lot of sparkling water, still water, coffee. Did you guys know that when you stay on property, you have a great what Darcy looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I think you can, there we go. <laughs> so excited. I really like the ice cream at the end. Uh -huh. or, no, 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 the white stuff. I have cheesecake plan. Oh, that's cheesecake. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. Okay, so this looks like peanut butter and I'm kind of happy because I love peanut butter. Juan's is red velvet and what was your guys' flavor? Red velvet, all right, cool. Okay, so I cut more into it and there is red velvet in here as well. Just to show you guys all the flavors, here's one, two, three, and inside there's another one. All right, so we just ate our WandaVision cake. Personally, I did not finish that, it was a lot. It was amazing though. Um, I definitely had to take it to go. I, at first when I cut it, I was like, okay, it's just vanilla. And then I saw one side and it was like peanut butter. And then I kept cutting it and then I saw the red velvet. Then I saw the cookies and cream and then I saw the chocolate and the mousse. It was just, it was a lot of stuff in one cake, but that was really good. I definitely would say it was worth it. Um, I get it, yeah. 10 out of 10. And I don't even like red velvet, but that thing was so good. Woo! What about you? It's too sweet. Too sweet? Yeah. There's no such thing as too sweet. I love sweets, so that was my favorite. The even the fondant was like it wasn't too sweet at all. It was perfect. It was amazing. Like it wasn't thick. It wasn't thick. And usually fondant doesn't taste like anything. So when I saw fondant and it was like wrapped in fondant, I was kind of skeptical, but it was so good. Even the little like image was so oh. good. Oh, I, I didn't <laughs> eat my picture yet. Oh. I wanted to save it, but um. Oh. It was just too pretty. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. I really wanted to show you guys what it was and obviously experience it ourselves since we're here and it was the last one. Um, I think we got pretty lucky and I'm very happy. Oh my God, can we do that? <laughs> That's so cool. Well, but for three people. Well, no, you can fit two to three people in it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Did anybody need anything else at the moment? No I'll take a barbecue sauce too. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Did you want more? Would you like my delicious pickles? Both your pickles, yes. Oh, I got you. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? <laughs> we went to Boathouse, as you guys saw, it was amazing. Um, Nixa picked it and it was really good. 10 out of 10 from everyone, yes. And especially the shrimp, yeah. What, what was it called? Firecracker shrimp. Firecracker shrimp, okay. So we did a little shopping at Downtown Disney. No, why do I keep calling it Downtown Disney? Uh. At Disney Springs and now we are mini golfing at Fantasia Gardens mini course and this is the last thing we're doing together as a group besides breakfast tomorrow obviously I'll show you guys what the course looks like but it is obviously outdoors and I can't see much from right here but I'm excited because mini golf is fun <laughs> yeah what are we gonna eat for dinner second dinner for second dinner that was lunch because it was at four dinner. What do you mean? Lunch was at 12.10. Um, not my lunch. That was lunch. Anything after 12 is lunch. Okay. Your mom's after Dinner is six and on. I want Chick-fil-A. I hate Chick-fil-A. First of all, I don't, I love Chick-fil-A, but I want Chick-fil-A. Thank you. Your mom's so rude. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her that. Hello. You're all set. Thank, you. Thank you. I like that anything Disney, like you have to get temperature screened, obviously at the parks, at um, here, and Disney Springs had to temperature check everything. The Gardens was maxed to the Gardens course. And then while we wait, we can have a good time with Kelly. We're going to be doing the Garden course because this is apparently the fun one. So, since we didn't get a chance to um, film what we thought about Cinderella's castle, we're gonna do that right now. If you could see my face, Mark was making fun of me the whole time because I was just, I had a big old smile on my face. Everything was so good. Like I got the house, it was like this, it was like a salad kind of thing. And the reason why I got that is because I saw a lot of YouTube reviews saying that it was like the best thing on the entire menu. The dressing was just like, I would pay somebody a thousand dollars to give me the recipe to that dressing. But I literally made everybody try a little bit on my dressing. I wish I could have tasted the soup, but Mark and Nisa were really greedy and they didn't want to share. So <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> I have to tell you, I had the charcuterie board. I expected more. I thought it was gonna be like a bigger plate. It was like one of every little thing they gave you. And we both had the rotisserie chicken. Chicken breast. It was chicken breast. Oh, chicken breast. I'm sorry. Um, the best meal I have ever had. I literally wanted to take that sauce home. It was amazing, even though it had mustard. I hate mustard, but it was just on another level. Like the dressing, the sauce, all their sauces were amazing. Chicken was really good. It wasn't dry. It was super juicy. Oh, it had a little bit of crisp to it. The crispiness really was like great. That. Yeah. That mustard sauce is amazing. I would sell my left kidney for it. <laughs> the dessert was good. We had the clock strikes midnight or whatever. And I had like a coffee, um, it's the only coffee flavored dessert on there. I personally didn't like any of the desserts. I did try his, but I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, so I didn't like it either. The place, I did expect a little more as well. Um, I don't know, I felt like because the castle looks so fancy on the outside, I was expecting like more like glass inside like fancy, a legit castle like a legit castle like a chandelier or something i don't know all the tables were spaced out pretty nicely um so we weren't too close to everyone and yeah cinderella because of covid can't like actually come to our table and take pictures but she did kind of go around and from our view we were able to see her at every angle she showed off her glass slippers which were so cute and she was really pretty really nice I think she came out like three times while we were there but the second time like they did like that whole little like light show kind of thing personally I would give it 
a 9 out of 10 just because I didn't like any of the dessert but the appetizer and the entree was so amazing I would definitely go back a thousand times oh and we told them it was my birthday so they gave me a cupcake with blue frosting so that is what I ate for dessert and that was actually really good <laughs> what did you think it's amazing 27 out of 4 27 out of 4 <laughs> yep. It's, okay. It's the best meal you can have on property in Magic Kingdom. If you get a chance to get a reservation, do it. Yeah. It's really hard to get a reservation and the walk-up wait list like filled up really quickly. So if you don't if you're not able to get a reservation, I would definitely say go try the walk-up as soon as you get to the park. The pricing, yes, it was pretty pricey, but considering that it was a full course meal, like you get your um appetizer, your entree, and your dessert. If everything was split up, knowing Disney's prices, you probably would have spent way more than that on like buying them all separately. It would have been more than $62. So it is very, very worth it. I think the price was very reasonable. And it was also a character dining, which um, does bump up the price. And it's inside the castle. Like you have to take that into consideration. Yeah. It's freaking inside the castle. So I think I would say we would all recommend you guys definitely going um get your reservations and definitely try it out it was way worth it and we would all go back more than once so that was our review of cinderella's castle okay oh i'll take uh blue, i want it pink oh look at the purple yeah, one's cute thank you Oh, purple is there a purple one right there um, yeah oh, i'll take the purple all right, her first ever okay, so mini golf. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where, where did it go? That was pretty hard. Oh, what? There's a back part. Wow. Wow. <laughs> in one wow wait hers is still rolling there now it went down yeah oh my gosh where does it come out from right here. what no oh. way <laughs> yeah. wow i want to do that Ooh. what it's in here whoa Oh, wait, hold up. Oh! Oh, it's going back, it's going back, it's going back! Oh! You bastard. <laughs> we can't see Mark's ball because he's black. Wait. Oh, oh he did it. Let me see the cool one. Everyone's a hole in one. Everyone's a hole in one. Except Nisa. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Oh. <laughs> oh, how cute. Well, let's do that Smart again. Everybody has won. Here comes Annabelle for the Women's PGA Tour Championship. She needs a hole in one. Chef's kiss. Oh. <laughs> Chef's kiss. 57, 58. That's a lot. I demand a freaking a recount. Yeah. I demand a recount. Yeah. Mark did Thank not you. win. <laughs> I need a recount. <laughs> Let's see. Go on. Guess who won? Come on. Alright, you guys want to tell me? Go ahead, take a look. Mark won by three. You won? <laughs> <laughs> by three <laughs> points? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone. Today is unfortunately the last day that we are here in Florida waiting on me because <laughs> I'm literally the only one still in the Airbnb. Everybody's downstairs putting their bags um, in the car. Hopefully we can fit them all because some of them bought way too much stuff. I'm kind of sad, but at the same time, I feel like we were here enough days 
to make it feel like we had our vacation we had our little trip um so it doesn't feel like we're ending it too soon if if that makes any sense nine days it was a pretty cool ride and a nice time so i'm really happy it's currently 9 34 right now our flight leaves at 1 56 but we're just gonna go um eat some mcdonald's and then head to the airport around like 12 just to make sure that our bags are checked in and everything this was it i filmed so much i don't know how i'm gonna get through all this editing honestly but i'm gonna do it for you guys i hope it looks as enjoyable as it was <laughs> all right so we're in the car and uh we packed this oh really a bit too much <laughs> Nixa was just saying that it finally hit her that we're gonna be leaving and she was like what are we gonna talk about now <laughs> so I guess we could start planning our next trip um, hopefully I want to do Paris Mark wants to do Shanghai Juan really wants to do Tokyo I'm tied between Shanghai or Tokyo but I'll settle for Paris we never actually finished the vlog by saying what we thought that how the trip went personally 10 out of 10 um, I haven't seen Nixa in a minute and especially Mark since the wedding. So that was amazing. I know, for real. We get to see each other once again. So it's gonna be hard to say goodbye or see you soon. Um, but. Bitch, I'm already gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the amount of days that we were here, I was saying this this morning while you guys were putting this stuff downstairs, but. Um, which you did not help do. <laughs> which I didn't help do. <laughs> um, like the fact that it was nine days i feel like it was such a good amount of time for it to actually feel like it was a good vacation and it didn't feel rushed it was really relaxing um except all the walking obviously because it's disney world duh i feel like our plans followed through what we wanted you know like it all was pretty organized and we got to do what we wanted to do so that was the best mm -hmm. and obviously being all together couldn't ask for more love these peeps here you go <clears throat> i don't know what to say you like maybe want to cry <laughs> <You're seeing it. laughs> no honestly like this trip was amazing like obviously you know there were moments where emotions got the best of us but <laughs> overall <laughs> definitely like i said nine out of ten but it was ten out of ten probably twelve out of ten because this was the first time ever that Mark and I have actually done something with another couple. <laughs> actually, us with too. Our, with us like, too, right, babe? I was, yeah. I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, this is the first time we've actually hung out with another couple and like did something like this, like mm -hmm. traveled together, like stayed at like an Airbnb together, and like did yeah Disney World together. It like, was the first crazy. for us too. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. So that was. That was pretty cool. Like, I feel like an adult now. Like, <laughs> my parents can say no. <laughs> We've done adulting. Yeah. And, and budgeting and spending. <laughs> saving. Well, saving, <laughs> saving was a big one for me. Um, mm -hmm. This is the first time that I feel like I... Well, not the first. But, like, a big, big trip like this is the first time that I actually, like, set aside money and, like, saved for this. I guess I'm pretty proud. That's one little step to adulting <laughs> mm -hmm. and I did have a budget um, unlike anybody else that didn't have a budget but <laughs> we didn't have a budget either they didn't have a budget either but we knew we were gonna we spend a lot of money budget yeah, yeah we didn't have a planned budget and it's Mark's fault because he left me for three weeks it was amazing I think everyone basically did what they wanted to do I don't think we left without like with regrets yeah that, like, like that I don't yeah have any I don't have a regret what's your what? regret that we're not staying longer Oh, well, <laughs> we were all saying like, "Hey, I don't work on Sunday. He doesn't work on Sunday. She doesn't work on Sunday. Maybe we should extend it one more day." <laughs> but no, we have to end it sometime, you know. But let's hand it over to the guys and this see what they better. thought. This was a very fun trip. I've done everything I wanted to do like, since I was like five. Five. So it was everything <laughs> you dreamed of. Well, not everything because I couldn't see the parades and the fireworks. But that's true. For what we were able to do, it was really good. But that means we're coming back in seven years after we hit everything else. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's only six, so four. But then I we have to take a cruise, and then we have to oh, go to Alani. Oh, the oh, cruise yeah. and Alani. Yep, you're right. Damn, seven years. Yeah, so it was very good. I had fun. All right, so you guys cannot have kids within the next seven years. Yep. 
That's because I don't want no excuses. Oh, wait, no, you can't bring doable. your kid to the freaking trip. Nope, no excuses. <laughs> wait, no, no. I have a five year limit now because he doesn't want kids before 30. Mm -hmm. I mean, he doesn't want kids after. I 30. need to make sure my spermies still work. They're First of all, they're good till you're like 70. I know. <laughs> and then, like. <laughs> but, anyways, what'd you think, Mark? So, I give this whole trip a 9 out of 10. If you're gonna go to Disney World, definitely have a day where you're just gonna relax. I'd like, do absolutely nothing. No shopping, no nothing, just relax. That's my biggest. I'm going yeah. to spa day. Yeah, oh my god, spa day. Spa. the spa was amazing. Guys, get a facial, I recommend it. Spa day was uh -huh. amazing. Thanks to Mark. <laughs> Freaking Mark. Shout out to Mark <laughs> for getting us that spa reservation because Shades of Green is a military hotel only. So because of Mark, we were able to do that. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. And if you plan on going to the outlet, bring an extra luggage so you don't stuff the crap out of yours. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But yeah, overall, for me, 9 out of 10. Uh, I don't like feeling rushed, and I know that's partially due to the parks closing a lot earlier and opening up a lot later. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that that's probably something that definitely could change as well. But yeah, guys. It was amazing Now it's anyway. time to go to Disneyland with our 15% capacity. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Y'all need to um, expect those All Disneyland right, vlogs coming up because they will be coming up. Expect that stay at the Grand California for one night. No, oh my God. Probably, and some Dodger game uh, vlogs. Opening so, day, if I can afford it. We're not going opening day. You're not going. <laughs> we're going to drive to the airport right now, say our see you soon, and we'll be on the plane headed home. So we'll see y'all at the airport. Oh, I love you too. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna cry. Cry, babies. I'm not gonna cry. 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 I'm not We're back home. <laughs> the landing was so hard that like my freaking phone fell on the ground and it hit the flight attendant's foot and she found it. Right now we're on our way to get our bags. So hopefully that doesn't take too long and I'll close it out when we're outside because it's a little out in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We had so much fun on this trip and it was, if it was, at least any bit helpful to you guys for all you foodies out there especially um, then we did our job on reviewing everything for you guys um, as always if you guys did like the video make sure you leave a thumbs up and some comments down below and if you would like to follow me on the rest of my YouTube journey you want to see more vlogs more makeup videos don't forget to subscribe all right share the video with your friends tell your friends tell everyone to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.